YouTube, this is GS Mammoth Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe Photoshop and how to batch edit several or dozens of photos uh, that you don't want to do one by one, you want to make similar changes to. We're going to show you how to do that very easily today with actions and with image processing under the edit menu here and using scripts. So the first thing we're going to do is here I have a folder with five pictures. Now, obviously you may have a lot more pictures, but say you wanted to do a similar changes to these pictures. So all you got to do is just grab one of your pictures first and then drag it into Photoshop. Now there are a few things you want to be aware about before you do anything uh, with batch editing. One thing is you can pretty much do anything you want in a batch edit. You can, you know, you can make selections, you can draw things, you can place things, you can crop things, you can put effects, you can pretty much make paths, you can do anything. The important thing to note though is that the size of your picture matters. If you were to make a selection here in the top left corner here, and you were to type something, or you were to draw something, or you were to put a logo, or anything like that, or if you were to cut something out, or if you were to move something, or you were to move layers, this specific section is going to be used, and this specific size of this selection is going to be used for all your pictures. So pictures that are bigger or smaller will have this exact same thing on it. So you have to make sure that if you're doing things like this, either drawing something, placing something, putting a logo, moving something with layers, anything with a specific region on a picture, you have to make sure that the pictures are the same size. If the pictures are not the same size, you're going to get different results for all your different pictures because they're not the exact same size. So just be aware about that. If you're putting an effect over the picture though, it doesn't really make a difference. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and not make a selection right now. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure all of my pictures are pretty much the same size. So before we do anything though, you want to record what we're going to be doing. So to record what you're doing, head up to windows here and find actions. And then you want to go down to the bottom and just create a new action. You can create a new folder as well. I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm going to put it YouTube and then you can go and create a new action with this button right here and we're going to name this tutorial. Now once you named your new action, once you click this button, you see this red circle here, that means you're starting to record. Everything you do from here on, everything you do from here on is going to be recorded. So what I want to do is I want to resize all my pictures to be a specific size. So I'm going to go to image size and I want them all to be, and be aware, make sure if you're linking the two, then be aware you might not get the same results. So you may want to do unlinked to size everything exactly. Uh, I'm going to size this probably, let's try 750 and we're going to put 450. So 750 by 450, I want all my pictures to be. This is just for tutorial purposes. You can obviously do whatever custom size you want if you have a goal or something. So I think 750 by 450, that's our image size. As you can see here, image size has been recorded here. Then what I want to do, I want to add an effect to all of my pictures. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to layers, go to new adjustment layer, and say I want to do a curve. Uh, like I said, you can do any effect really. And I think we're just going to do the classic uh, curve that makes the darks darker, the lights lighter. And then we have that. As you can see, our curves are being adjusted as well. After that, what I want to do is put a logo on my picture. So here in my folder here, I have a little cartoon logo of myself that's very big. And I'm going to go ahead and make it small like so. And I want to have this logo on the bottom right of all these pictures like that. And as you can see, it places it and does everything it's supposed to do. Then that's pretty much everything I want to happen. So we're going to go ahead and press stop. Now what we have recorded is our resize, our effect and our placing of our watermark or logo, whatever you want to call it. Now we have our action recorded. 
Now, if we want to batch edit this, if we want to make similar changes to everything else, we're going to go to scripts under file, go to image processor right here. And then an image processor, here's where the batch editing uh, comes into play. So first of all, your first option is select the folder where your images are at. So my images are in pics right here. I'm going to press OK. The other options here, you can keep the first two blank if you don't have any subfolders. Uh, make sure you have this option selected here, open first image to apply settings. Now if you want to save in the same location, you can do that, but I actually want to use a new folder. So I'm going to go ahead and, can I create a new folder here? I can. I'm going to click new folder under pics and this is edited. So we're going to use our edited folder. That's where we're going to save all of our pictures. And I want to save as a JPEG and I want to save as a PSD. Uh, quality, you can you know, change the quality if you want. Several other options here that you can choose, but I only want to have a JPEG and a PSD. If you don't need a PSD, you can uncheck it. But I recommend having a PSD so that if you notice an error in the batch editing, you can open the PSD and fix it. And at the bottom here, the options we want to run are the YouTube tutorial action just like that and we can go ahead and press run and what you'll notice is that Photoshop will open each picture individually go through it depending on how many actions you have depending on how big your pictures are depending on how many pictures you have will determine of how long it takes for Photoshop to go through this process and uh, it'll be done quicker or uh, less quicker so now we go back to my desktop here, go to pics. And as you can see, here are the original pictures where we don't have any effects. Everything is not resized, no logo. And here we have our edited pictures. We go into our JPEGs. Everything is resized. All the effects are on our logos at the bottom. And we have our PSDs here, which also help us uh, edit if we ever need to re-edit again. So as per this tutorial, that's how you batch edit several images at once through actions and through the image processor under the edit menu. If you like the video, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom. If you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other Photoshop tutorials on the channel as well as other software tutorials on the channel. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, any of those that's very helpful, we much appreciate it. Links at the top right corner of the screen. You can click and it'll bring you to the page. And if you want to check out the vlogging channel, the advice channel, gaming channel, or the music channel, links in the description as well as in the end screen. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GSMAN with Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm.